Happy Thursday, Cientificos. How are you feeling today? That's great. I'm feeling great today. I'm very, very excited to start our learning. I was really looking forward to learning about animals and plants and what they do to survive. So much so that I actually got something for us to observe together instead of just pictures. Would you like to see what we'll be observing today? <laughs> Buenísimo. Today, we will be observing a crab, a real one. I caught it yesterday with my partner. And I also took some pictures while we were out. Let's check them out. Now, this crab is not a Dungeness crab. This is a rock crab, and they are super common in the bay. We are actually not allowed to keep any Dungeness crab from the bay, so we had to throw out all the purple ones that we caught. We are allowed to keep rock crabs, as long as they're the right size. And today, we will use our sense of sight, and tomorrow, we will write down what we noticed. So, let's look at and identify the body parts that we can see. Then we'll ask ourselves, what does this crab do or maybe have to help it survive? So, what do you notice? And I'll move it. <laughs> ah, yes, I see that too. These front two leg looking pieces are actually the pinchers or claws. These one, two, three, four, five, six legs are used for walking and the back two are used for swimming. Hmm. Very interesting. Now I'm going to tap this crab. Do you think the outside of this crab is hard or soft? I agree, it's hard. Let's take a moment to think about how the pinchers, the legs, and the hard shell might help the crab survive. Hmm. Okay. Bueno, if this is the outside and it's hard, what do you think the inside will be like? Mm hmm. Interesting. Some of you think it will be soft. We'll actually find out in a moment, right? You ready to look inside? Okay. Let's make sure. I guess it's not that hard, Cientificos. Notice. I'll move stuff around too. Do the insides look hard like the outsides? Uh uh, it doesn't. What's interesting though, and maybe some of you remember, but most crabs grow their shells. Ooh, and every so often, depending on their age, they molt. This means that they grow, 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 get too big and their shells sort of pop off. When this happens, the crabs have to grow and harden a new shell. While that's happening, the crab has to go into hiding from other animals. Hmm, scientists, I think I'm starting to understand the importance of these shells. But our time together is coming to an end, so we'll have to conclude our learning tomorrow. I'll keep these parts so we can still make observations with them. Please take some time to think about how these parts on the crab help us survive in the ocean. Thank you, scientists, and I'll see you tomorrow.